Oil paintings have been found in caves in Afghanistan's Bamiyan Valley, showing that this painting technique, which is seen a lot in Western art, in fact has its roots in Asia. The badly damaged paintings date back to 650 AD, and they show knotted hair Buddhas in vermilion robes sitting cross-legged. These Buddhist images partially survived when the Taliban destroyed two 1,500-year-old Buddha statues in 2001. Now, a UNESCO Japanese Fund and Trust Conservation and Restoration Project has the paintings. A lot of the objects from the Kabul Museum, the um, storage of the archaeology institutes, all have been looted. Over 60,000 objects have left Afghanistan in the past 20-some years. And looting happened before the Taliban, during the Taliban, and it's still going on. But luckily, the Taliban didn't destroy everything. In 1988, intricate ornaments were secretly moved to a vault in the central bank at the presidential palace. They were kept under tight security. The person really who is at the heart of protecting these objects is actually the last communist president of all things. It was uh, uh, Dr. Najib who knew something really bad was going to happen, and he took the initiative at that time to move the entire collection of the museum to the presidential palace uh, basement, but also all the other people from the Kabul Museum, the uh, Archaeology Institute, who were able for 20-some years to keep that as a secret. Now, 250 restored objects are on display in Amsterdam's Newkirk Museum. In May, the exhibition will start a 17-month tour across the United States. For Discovery News, I'm Casey D. Gardner.